Now we'll talk about the distributive property. And this is not hard, but it is extremely important. I see a lot of mistakes from first year algebra students who didn't get this and who, or who make a lot of mistakes doing this, haven't gained the necessary proficiency in this. So make sure you understand this topic. If you need to watch this video a second time or two or three times as much as necessary or look up the same concept in some other sources, do that. But this is important to get down. I'll start with an example. Three times in parentheses seven plus five. I'm gonna write this twice. I'm gonna work it two different ways. The most obvious way is to recognize that we have something in parentheses, so we do that first. The 7 plus 5 is 12, so this is the same as 3 times 12. Or using the same notation, I could say 3 and in parentheses 12. And 3 times 12 is 36. Okay, instead of doing what's in the parentheses first, though, I could distribute the 3. So the 3 could be multiplied by the 7, and then I have my plus and then the 3 multiplied by the 5. Now watch this. I could do 3 times 7 plus 3 times 5. And 3 times 7 is 21, and 3 times 5 is 15. And 21 plus 15 is 36. So there we have it, the same answer in either case. You can do what's in parentheses first and get an answer, or you can distribute what's on the outside multiplied by the group and you get the same answer. Here's another example. 5 times in parentheses 6 minus 2. Okay, I could say 6 minus 2 is 4, so this would be the same as 5 times 4, which is 20, or I could do it like this. 5 times 6 minus 2, I could think of this 5 times 6 minus 5 times 2. So I'll write that step out. 5 times 6 minus 5 times 2. And 5 times 6 is 30 minus 5 times 2, which is 10, and 30 minus 10 is 20. Once again, we get 20, the same answer as we had before. Being able to distribute like this is very important. And at this point, you might ask, why? Why do we need to do this? Isn't it just easier to do what's in parentheses first and then multiply? And the answer is yes, that's easier if we're working with simple numbers like this. But a lot of times in algebra, we're working with variables. And being able to manipulate expressions with variables is very important. So for example, if I have something like this, 7 times, in parentheses, a plus 5. I can't just add the a and the 5 if I don't know what the value of a is. But I can still distribute the 7. The 7 will be multiplied by the a, and then I'll have the plus sign, and then the 7 is multiplied by the 5. So I can write 7 times a plus 7 times 5. And that would be 7a plus 35. This mathematical expression, 7 times parentheses a plus 5, is mathematically equivalent to this one, 7a plus 35. And being able to get from here to here correctly is very, very important. Now let me make a comment about the terminology. Being able to read about this and discuss this intelligently is also important. In this case, we say that we are distributing the 7 across the a plus 5. That's a common way to say it. We're distributing the 7 across the a plus 5. So that just means that the 7 is multiplied by both of these things, the a and the 5. It's also common to say that multiplication distributes across addition. In this case, here's the multiplication. I have 7 times this. Those two things are multiplied together, this and this. And the 7, which is being multiplied by this group, we note that this group is addition, a plus 5, those two things added. So the 7, which is being multiplied, distributes across both of these terms which are being added. That's what we mean when we say multiplication distributes across addition. The 7 is multiplied by the expression in parentheses, which is addition. Just understand that uh, phraseology, the way things are, are uh, talked about. We say that we are distributing the 7 across the a plus 5, or 
that multiplication distributes across addition. Now distributing also works with more than two terms. For example, you might have something like this, 7 times 8 plus 2 minus 3. Well, this would be the same as 7 times 8, and then we have a plus sign, plus 7 times 2, and then we have a minus sign, minus 7 times 3. So the 7 gets multiplied by each term in the group. And we can figure this out. 7 times 8 is 56, plus 7 times 2, which is 14, and then we have minus 7 times 3, which is 21. So 56 plus 14 minus 21, and that ends up equaling 49. Here's another example. This one will have some variables. 4 times x plus y minus 3. Well, the 4 will get multiplied by the x, by the y, and by the minus 3. So let's do that. We have 4 times x, that's just 4x, plus 4 times y, that's 4y, and then we have the 4 times negative 3, which is negative 12. Or we could think of it as minus 4 times 3, or minus 12. And we can't simplify this any further. If we don't know the value of the x or the y, we can't simplify it down to a, a single number. So we'll just leave it like that. But we have distributed the 4. We've distributed the 4 across this group. Now, not just numbers, but also variables can be distributed. So what if we have an a times b plus 2? The a is on the outside here, and it is multiplied by this group. Well, the same concept applies. The thing out here that's being multiplied will get multiplied by each of the terms in here. So this will be equal to a times b plus a times 2. And we would typically write this as ab without the little dot there, just writing a, b next to each other implies multiplication. Then we have plus, and instead of writing a times 2, we would typically write 2a. We usually put the, the numerical part first before the variable part. The 2a means 2 times a, which is the same as a times 2. So we've distributed the a across this group of things that are added. And you can also distribute from the right side. Watch this. If I have a plus 6 times 4, well, even though this 4 is over here on the right, it still is multiplied by this group. And that means the 4 will get multiplied by each thing in the group. So it will get multiplied by the a and by the 6. So to distribute that, I'd write a times 4 plus 6 times 4. And if instead, if instead you wrote it as 4 times a plus 4 times 6, that's fine, because a times 4 is the same as 4 times a. Then we would typically write this as 4a, and then 6 times 4, obviously, is 24. So 4a plus 24. And we can't simplify it any further if we don't know a numerical value for a. So this would be our answer. If we're told to distribute the 4 across the a plus 6, that's what we get. And we can state the distributive property in words. And we would state it like this. When we multiply a number by a group, then that number, that number gets multiplied by each term in the group. That number gets multiplied by each term in the group. When we multiply a number by a group, then that number gets multiplied by each term in the group. And that idea should make sense in light of the examples that we've worked out.